All right, guys. So welcome back. And this is definitely one of the coolest projects I have yet. So we are going to make ourselves a little pop-up project. This fun little hot air balloon. This is not so cool. And um, so I made this with um, our plain piece of paper and some, I had some construction paper laying around. Now, disclaimer, before you shut me off, if you don't have construction paper, if you've got some scrap pieces of paper, almost anything, you can use this. Um, even if you have just some scrap pieces of plain paper, you can color them different colors and use this and um, we can make it even if you have like maybe one of our old art projects that didn't turn out right and that's laying around um, you can certainly cut this up and we can attach the balloons together to do this so let's see what we can do okay so here is our hot air balloon and we are going to be cutting out um, a few pieces of paper i have jack hold it because we don't want the the weight of the balloon to make it flop over. It hasn't yet. And um, what I used was four different sheets. One, two, three, four. And they have been glued together. So you will be needing glue. Um, I used a glue stick. I like the glue stick uh, a little bit better when I'm working with the kids. It creates a little bit less mess than the liquid glue does. But if you have liquid glue, that is going to work just the same. It's not a big deal. Um, I just happen to prefer glue stick. Um, obviously pencil, scissors, school scissors are still going to work for this. Um, I cut all four pieces at the exact same time and the school scissors worked. Uh, whatever coloring material you have, I used a marker to do the basket and to do some outlining, but obviously whatever you have is no big deal. And then a pack of crayons. I used some crayons to just color in the background. If you don't have those, hey, you know, you use what you have. That's what we do here. All right, so here's what I did. This is um, an extra balloon that I have to show you the shape of it. It's very, very simple. It is a circle and a little square attached to the bottom. And what we did was I folded the pieces of paper. You only need um, literally a half sheet of paper to create this and then you're going to fold the half sheet in half <laughs> that's it and um, so I drew just a half circle with this little rectangle shape on the bottom and cut that out that's simple that is how I got my balloon shapes so let me show you I have got um, these are actually the other halves of the paper that I was using and so, like I said, if you have any scrap pieces of paper that you have laying around, um, what you can do is you could take those, uh, you could color on the back of them real quick. Um, you could use any of the printing techniques that I have shown you. This would be maybe a good time to use uh, like those bubble printed papers that you've made um, or any of the uh, watercolor papers we made with the uh, markers and the baggies. Um, this would be a really cool way to take any of those techniques and then apply them and make something like this. So if you've got any of those papers laying around, um, you could use one of those and get a couple of them together, fold those in half, and make the balloon prints as well. So, but it's a lot easier for me to show you if I've got four different sheets of paper so you see what to do. So I'm going to take my half pieces of paper, got four pieces here. And these are the colors that I've already used and I'm going to fold them in half. So I did them all at the same time. It made my life a little bit easier. So now I've got them folded in half. Okay. And on the fold, this is when I can always see where I have kids at. <laughs> Follow good directions and ones I don't. So here I have my opening. On the fold is where I'm going to draw the balloon. Okay. So I'm going to draw the balloon. And I'm going to draw my little circle. 
as big as I'd like to. And then I'm going to draw the little bottom. I'm going to darken my line just simply so you guys can see it. So here it is. Here's my fold. Here's where it opens. Okay. So it's on the fold. If you don't have it on the fold, you're going to mess up the whole thing. Now I'm going to take my scissors, holding my paper closed, and I'm going to start to cut. Then I am using, again, these little kid scissors, just in case that is all you have at home. If you're able to go get your kid's stuff um, out of their desk, you don't have any grown-up scissors at home, or if you can't find them, like sometimes happens at my house. Boom. And there we go. And I've got one, two, three, four, four balloons. All right, so those scraps can go to the garbage because I can't do nothing with those anymore. So here's how I form the balloon. I'm going to take my four pieces. I'm going to start with whatever color I want to. Does not matter. And my glue that is right in front of my face. Open it up, twist up, only a little bit at a time, kids. Remember, Mrs. Mims doesn't want you to twist it all the way to the top. Mm -mm. Don't do that. And um, I'm gonna fold my balloon in half. Okay, fold one color, fold another one in half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some glue on just one half of my balloon. I'm going to take a second balloon and I'm going to lay it on top so that it matches. And I should have two balloons stuck together. There we go. So far, so good, right? Now I'm going to take a third one. Take the blue one. Fold the blue one in half. I'm going to close these two up. Okay. I'm going to take that green. And I'm going to lay that blue on top, making sure it matches. Hard and ta -da. so now I've got three together. So I got one more. Now, I mean, could I put it together like that? Sure, but you know, we fancy. So we're gonna take our last one and holding all three that I already have together closed. Actually, let me look at it. Not right now. I'm in the middle of teaching. <sighs> when you're teaching and momming all at the same time. I'll just fix it. You do that. You know, you were dancing. I could hear you sound like you were coming through the floor, child. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my room is right near the kitchen. Yeah, I know. That's what everyone wants to hear is you. <laughs> all right, so now I've got all four. Stop, you're moving the computer. You're on the cord. I had to put. This is why quarantine is fun, because mom life and teaching life don't often intersect. <laughs> and when they do, all right, so here's my balloon all put together. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to find um, your two balloon ends. And you're going to find one end, 
And you're going to uh, find a nice place for it on the paper. I'm not going to lie, these super, super wide glue sticks are amazing. There is a reason I ask my parents to donate them to me at the beginning of the school year because they last me forever in the art room. Because these tiny ones, we go through these like glasses of water, I swear to God. We will just open a new one and I can have a child go through one in 10 minutes. And when I have about 400 children in my school, and I see them every week, and we're doing a lot of gluing projects, they don't last long at all. And uh, we can open one. I'm like, how, how? That was brand new, like two class periods ago. I need a new one, Ms. Mims. What? You stop! This is why parents talk to themselves. <laughs> and they think it's funny. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Go away. All right, so now that I've got my balloon on here, I'm just going to literally draw my basket, a tiny little uh, square. It's going to be a little ways away from the balloon because you do want to draw your um, strings that are holding it. You know, if you want to draw the little fire under the balloon, that's fine too. Again, any details that you add to this are fine. Um, I added little mountains in the background of my balloon. I added the uh, basket. I added some uh, texture to it. So, I mean, where do you go from here after you have the balloon on here is totally up to you. It's not a big deal. But you can uh, just kind of go and do whatever you wish and color it and go from there. Uh, the reason I chose to color the rest of it in crayon as opposed to marker is because, you know, you just don't want to kill your markers at this stage in the game. We just can't get to stores uh, like we should normally be able to, um, even if you have been able to go and pick up a few things here or there. Art supplies are wonderful to have on hand. If you've been able to pick some up, that's amazing. But they're just not essential at this time, especially if you've got anybody that is out of work um, and you're waiting on, um, you know, essentials. So, you know, you don't want to kill your supplies, but um, whatever you can have and whatever you can use is wonderful. So try to take care of your supplies. Try to kind of make them last. So, um, you know, if you're coloring everything in with a marker, it's going to kill them a little sooner. So if you color your background in and want some color, then using a crayon is going to help everything kind of last a little bit longer. So that's why I chose to kind of do that. Um, if you have some paint and you want to maybe watercolor it, you could do that, but you're going to probably warp your uh, balloon a little bit. So if you want a painted background, you're going to want to paint that before putting on the balloon. Um, if you do have some construction paper, if you're able to pick any up at um, Walmart or Michaels or anything like that, um, you could find uh, maybe a blue and put your balloon right on that. You won't have to worry about coloring a background at all. So, you know, use your imagination and have fun with it and let your imagination soar and go from there. I hope you guys liked this project. It was something different, something fun. And, uh, you know, be safe out there, guys. Take care. Until the next time I see you, I'll talk to you then.